Mountain Blade Warband, a game where you can start off as a low-life peasant running around in the dirt to a low-life peasant who's managed to convince all the other low-life peasants around him to let them be his king, King of the Ship Peasant. And since Bannerlord is due to be released sometime before the end of the world or life as we know it, I'm pretty hyped to go back and play Mountain Blade Warband. But what will I do? Will I join an army, become a mercenary, become a tournament champion? Or will I just wait around because it's almost fucking harvesting season? It's almost harvesting season! Just the usual character creation screen. Hopefully this time I'll do something more original than just create a character with a really big bald head and make him do stupid stuff the entire time while also being slightly racist about him looking Asian. At least Mountain Blade is realistic. Hey look, I said I was a university student and my intelligence is free. Oh hurry! No, 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 not like goddamn last time. So it appears I can only really create one type of character in Mountain Blade, and that's small eyes, big forehead, massive jaw man. Thankfully, just like real life, Mountain Blade Warband has a little button where you can just switch your race to whatever you desire. This will make my character more unique than ever. And oh look! It's the dildo race. Ah, oh, Mountain Blade, just how I left it. There's no way that Bannerlord could ever beat these broken textures and my giant blue head. Oh look, I'm already the victim of a hate crime. Nice one. Nothing like starting a game with your first murder. And oh look, there's a man in a dress. So after promptly telling this bald man to fuck off, I'm ready to start my adventure in the world as a giant blue dildo. Ah, oh, here I am in the world ready to start my adventure adventure in my famous Tron suit. I, I wonder where we'll start our first, um... The map looks a little different than I remember it. First things first, we're going to need some jolly men to join our... Just like real life. Try as you will, Mr. Merchant of Shuriz, but I will not help you in your stupid starter quest, no matter how sexy that dress looks on you. The battles in Mountain Blade are one of its key features. The tactical prowess and the ability to command large armies is what really gives this game its bite. Unfortunately though, I just have a bunch of bald men running around with sharpened sticks. That's right, men, what do we want? Hairlines, when do we want them? Uh, it's too late now, but like 20 years ago. That's right, we've killed so many of the enemy, they have become part of the environment. Stay sharp, my bald brothers. Whilst the enemy might be plentiful and outnumber us, the shine from our bald head should surely blind them. So after pummeling the enemy into the dirt, we've looted their dead bodies, and now we're going to sell it to the horse merchant, who unmistakably only really sells cabbage. That's right, boys, cabbage is back on the menu. No? Nobody want to cheer for that? Uh, all we've got is cabbage, all right. Just remember, boys, if we win this fight, I'll polish all of your heads and give you cabbage for days. Oh, I think I'll go and meet a lord now and see if he wants to hire my great army. Oh, there's no one here. That's a bit odd. Usually there's a lot... Oh no, I, I I think I I've got I've got the wrong house here, guys. Just, please. Oh, this looks more like a place that I'd meet a lord. No weird bald people in dresses. Ah, oh, and we've got a lady here. Surely you can t tell me where your lord. Uh, um, I think. I think I'm just going to leave on second thought. The best part of Mountain Blade, in my opinion, is the tournaments. You can compete to win loads of gold and become the greatest warrior ever. Hey, there's a fight going on. Already, that, that, that guy's just punching a horse. That's right, come on down to your local arena for the greatest tournament ever to be known where a man punches a horse to death. Who will win? Uh, who knows? Ah, another excellent victory for me and the dildo bald people army. It's really making me think though. I, I wonder what the future of Mountain Blades really going to be. I mean, the game is just so perfect in itself. The, the great mechanics, the empire building, the ability to lead great armies and just do so many interesting things. What could, what could Mountain Blade really improve on? I, I don't even know at this point. I mean, whatever Bannerlord's going to put out, it's really not going to beat this, is it? I mean, I'm wearing a bright green hat while I roleplay as a dildo, but I guess we can all just imagine exactly what Bannerlord's going to be like in the future of Mountain Blade. I 
wonder. Ah. Oh, 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 God! What, what the hell's happening to my face? Why aren't I blue anymore? Oh, I'm wearing glasses. What the hell? Do I have a motherfucking pistol? On guard, peasant! What a strange world we have landed in. I must explore further. Oh god, I'm being accosted by a capitalist! What the hell? I don't want to buy any McDonald's! Go away, you bad person! I, I, I've really given you many choices here, but you're just going to have to fuck up. Oh, that gun's surprisingly effective. So is this really the future of Mountain Blade? What strange world we've been led into? The factions appear to be mostly the same, albeit they seem a little bit off. I just can't put my finger on what exactly is different. Um, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it, it appears... In the future, the Nazis are back, and I really hope that truck's not going to Moscow. I've hired a small amount of recruits to ambush one of these Nazi trucks, just to see exactly what's going on. Oh, they're throwing bombs at us! Be careful, men, and... Oh, okay, I think I might have made a bit of a bad decision here. But we shall be led victorious by my superior tactics! You goddamn Nazi bastards, you won't take me! They... they blew me up. God, God damn it, I really wish I didn't wear my good tuxedo. Oh, that's always a good sign. So maybe those Nazis aren't that bad after all, so I'm gonna go help them put down a small revolt in one of their villages. Ah, uh, nothing like the smell of massacring civilians in the morning. Oh, those bastards are beating me to death with rocks. God damn it, if fighting the Nazis and then helping them isn't going to work, what am I going to do? Welcome, gentlemen, to the best standing army in the entire world. Uh, we've got crazy Suzanne with us today. She's going to go absolutely fucking berserk and kill the enemy in one blow, but don't worry about that. Crazy Susan and her blows, you'll get to know quite well. Congratulations, man. We won our first battle, and I can only say that you did a very good job. I'm going to point... Oh, sorry. I meant to just point at you, but I... Uh, oh, I did it again. Sorry. I'm, I'm still learning how to shoot the gun. So after accidentally shooting my men just one too many times, they deserted me, took my goddamn tuxedo, and left me for dead. So I've decided to try a different faction, and uh, I think this one's definitely right up my alley. Oh, I look, it's Joseph the Steel Man. Well, Mr. Man, I've decided I wish to join your army, because I am Comrade Dickbag. Ah, so after joining Joseph the Steel Man's army, it seems like we've got ourselves our first battle, and I am ready to serve at any... Uh... Uh, okay, I, 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 I really wasn't ready to sign up to fights in the goddamn Never Realm. You haven't even given me a gun. You've just given me a goddamn shovel. What the hell am I supposed to do with this shit? So after digging my way out of the Never Realm, I went ahead and went to the equipment locker and got myself a goddamn machine gun. I can't wait to single-handedly do my part for the mo- oh, I just shot that. To, for the motherland, I will take down the enemy with my giant gun and it'll be magnificent! That was, that was just a joke anyway, that, that wasn't real communism. <clears throat> after being put in medical discharge for six months, after being shot in the head in my very first battle, I'm back at it and ready to take on the enemy once again. The great news is that Joseph the Steel Man has decided to put me in charge of my own little army to take out a fort in one of the enemy's provinces. Bad news is, just like real life, the Soviet siege tactics hadn't really advanced much since, you know... 13th century. Uh, Stalin, I, I think, I think I'm gonna need some more men. So after faking death, the enemy stole my clothes and left me in a forest, albeit I do look quite majestic running around with my giant machine gun topless with a cowboy hat. 
So now that I'm a vassal of Stalin, I get to do all the fun things he doesn't want to do himself, like massacring civilians who are quite hungry, followed up by seizing all of their production, and most importantly, flying the flag in battle. Oh, doesn't it feel good? Oh, nice, we've been invited to a feast with all of the lords. I've arrived for the feast and nobody's here and there's there's no food. Oh wait, yeah, of course there's no food, it's communism. Feeling energized after my feast of nothing, I've decided I'm going back to that fort and we're going to take it with modern tact- oh. Well, there's like a third of my army. Perfect, we've actually managed to take the fort and I've requested that it be given to me for all the hard work I've done for the great union that we live in. So for some reason, Stalin didn't give me the fort, so I've come all the way to Raverdin to come and have a... What? Wait a second. Visit the industrial bankers? What? What? Choose how many acres of land I wish to buy... Borrowing money and... This isn't communism! I, I just can't accept this, Joseph the Man of Steel. You're, first off, you take the fort away from me and I, I, I've done so much for you. And now, after I discover you're a goddamn fake communist, you, you're gonna fuck me like this? I don't think so. That's right, bread is back on the menu, boys. Down with communism, because today... I'm now a German! Yes, Mr. Steelman, it's me, Comrade McDickbag, and I'm here to show you a thing or two about how to sufficiently feed your population. Into the trenches will take Raverdin by the end of this day if it kills us all! GG, well fucking played, get wrecked, kid, easy peasy lemon, squeeze Well, I, we, we did it. There's so many dead people all over the floor where I've simply machine gunned them down as soon as they spawned in and it, it was... It was quite a fierce battle, but we've we've taken it. The Soviet capital is... it's gone. Stalin's... well, sorry, not Stalin, don't want to get copyright infringement there. Joseph the Steel Man! He, he's dead! The, and Raverton burns behind us. It's it's uh, exactly what I imagined th the Soviet capital would look like. And I guess I can now peacefully lead the Soviet capital of Raverton, knowing that it's led under a correct regime led by me, the topless man wearing the lady's wig. That's right, laugh at me no more, peasants, for I have five grenades strapped to my chest, and if you mock me, I'll fucking blow myself up. But I, I guess we're done now. This is proved everything. The Mauer Blade Warband is in safe hands. The Banner Lords are going to be a great game by any standards this has laid down because it can't get any fucking worse than this piece of shit. So leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit a subscribe if you really enjoyed it and maybe we'll come back in the future and see just how well Banner Lord compared to this. Oh, God, I just had the weirdest fucking dream ever. I, I really, really should stop smoking so much crack.